Vilnan has new goods today. Come, you look, you buy. Captain Ravan, the conditions. Ashira, the Emperor and my friend are in grave danger. I must gain entry into the palace. I heard what you did at Kasim Outpost in Alkanas. You have my thanks, and you shall have my help. Captain Ravan, this woman has vital information regarding the massacre in the Borderlands. We must see the Emperor at once. Very well, but I don't think you'll find him receptive. Let them pass! What is happening in the city? Let's go. I'll lead you to the palace. You are bold to have sought this audience with me. My guards tell me you were responsible for the massacre of innocent villagers in Arcanus. But you know that's not true, don't you? If you are innocent, then why do you have spies skulking through my sewers? Bring her in! Let me go! I detest violence. Guards, I leave this matter in your hands. to get to the sewers. I'll explain why when we get there. I am returning to town. The Crusaders swore an oath to dedicate their lives to the search. None believed that they would be the one to end the crusade by finding and cleansing the corruption. They believed the search ennobled them, that the discipline of their life and journey was the true goal. The crusader was meant to find me. These demons are blocking our way. We must destroy their summoning construct. She's alive, but the Imperial Guard is holding her somewhere down here. We will find her. Come on! Kill the 
So Magda was telling the truth. Somehow I knew my mother was alive. Oh, the, the electric eels are insidious pests that have taken root in the oases surrounding Chaldeum. Known for their stinging strikes, these creatures are particularly dangerous when they attack in large numbers. It is said that raw eel has become a delicacy among Chaldeum's elite, but I assure you these rumors are baseless. Not enough rats. alive until she talks. Pain will loose her tongue, but only to a point. Remember what happened with the vizier's assistant? It was a pleasurable time, I admit, but the man had only incoherent babble and bloody strands of pus filled from his lips by his head. The accursed were created when a necrotic plague spread through Kezistan centuries ago. The infected watched in terror as their flesh blackened and died. The strongest medicines could not stop the decay. Eventually, they fell into a dormant state and their bodies were piled up in dark and forgotten places where they could rest undisturbed.
here. Tell us about the Black Soul Stone! We know of the three that the Haradrim used to trap the Primeval. What is the purpose of this one? Your master Belial has good reason to fear it! Daughter, you know who I am? My darling, I've watched over you all your life. But I never dared get close because of the danger that always shadows me. It's not safe here. Let's move. looks so different in this age. How? It is tired. Tired and heavy with sorrow. What happened to your brother? Nothing you'd want to hear. I asked, didn't I? And then what? I suppose you'll make it all right. You'll fix it up just like another one of your little errands. Some things aren't that easy. I will wait until you are ready. Oh, God. And you're so noble about it, too. Spare me. After all this time, my mother is alive. I couldn't be happier, and yet it's still hard to accept that she never sent word to me or Uncle Deckard. She said that she wanted to keep me safe, but I just wish I'd known. Well, at least I have her now.
birds today. Please look, you won't be disappointed. Those you've chosen to fight alongside you are an interesting bunch. Children after my own heart, flawed in such interesting ways. Irena, you are quite vivacious for one with such a burden. Cormac has certainly noticed. Oh, don't pretend you haven't seen him looking at you. He'd best keep his vows in mind. Or maybe he shouldn't. And that Linden, ha, he makes me laugh. He can warm my bed any night. Reminds me of my second husband, he does. been told you were there for the destruction of Mount Ariat. Baal, the Lord of Destruction, sought to enslave mankind to the power of hell by corrupting the sacred world stone. Unthinkable though it was, I was forced to destroy it. And half the countryside with it. Understand, friend, that entire worlds burned as heaven and hell fought over the world stone. Ariat's destruction was regrettable. And... Believe me, I paid a high cost as well. You seem to have survived the World Stone's destruction. The resultant explosion dispersed the light and harmony of my angelic being. Without form or shape, I restored myself within the realm of Pandemonium. It took me twenty of your years, but finally, I returned home to the High Heavens. Were your brothers in arms glad for your return? Hardly. Believing my actions had endangered creation, the Angiris Council put me, the Archangel of Justice, on trial. I knew then that heaven was doomed, unless I could enlist the aid of mankind against the coming onslaught of hell. I'm surprised Cain never told you why I left. He knew I was called to fight the Lords of Hell, and I knew he would keep you safe. He's gone now. Then it's fate that we have been reunited. Cain's work, your work, is my war. According to the Herodric texts, only two evils remain. Belial is here in Chaldeum, and Asmodan has yet to reveal himself. Do you regret abandoning Leah? What? No, I never saw it that way. She grew up in safety, while I risked my life to find the key to our salvation. It was the sacrifice that I had to make. In any case, Leah will meet her full potential under my guidance. Do you not have things to do? How well did you know Cain? For a time, during the darkening of Tristram, we spent many nights in the Tavern of the Rising Sun, discussing his Herodric texts and the varied arcana I'd collected during my travels. Did you ever see him again? Only from afar. From time to time, our paths would cross, and I would catch glimpses of Leah as she grew. It broke my heart that I could not reveal myself and raise her as my own. How did you come to be captured? I was trying to steal out of the city. I'd returned to gather some things before setting out to recover Zoltan Kuhl's head, and the guards found me. I take it your wife was not burned at the stake for witchcraft. 
I broke her out in the middle of the night and we escaped. They didn't chase us far. I guess they were glad to see her go. You risked your life for someone you didn't even know. Not many would do that. She wasn't a witch. She was a mystic. Though we didn't find that out for a time. Not until we started traveling with a veteran wagon train. But well, that's a story for another time. This Adria, I sense dark things about her. She is not averse to using whatever means necessary to destroy Asmodan and Belial. She will use the Black Soul Stone, no matter what the cost. She is right. The Demon Lords must die. Some costs may prove too high, even for you. I worry about Leah. How is she? Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. She just needs someone looking out for her. This Zoltan Cool sounds like an untrustworthy fellow. You don't have your head separated from your body for no good reason. We need him to get the Soul Stone. Well, if you must. But I don't trust any of those ancient sorcerer types. Always up to no good. The guards were asking you about this Black Soul Stone. I was reading about it in Uncle's journal, but it didn't seem important. No, but it is. It is the key to defeating evil forever. It was created by the mage Zoltan Kul to trap demonic souls. Yes, he was a renegade Haradrim, dismembered by his brethren before he could activate the Soul Stone. His head was sealed away in the Dolgar Oasis. We must retrieve it. Because if we're to use the Soul Stone to defeat Belial and Asmodan, Zoltan Kool must live again. We rescued Leah's mother, Adria. She told us about the Black Soul Stone, an artifact that could banish evil forever. I must find it. Murderer, torturer, monster. These were the titles bestowed upon Zoltan Kool by the Horadrim, though it cost them dearly. They killed the wizard for his crimes against nature, and sealed his broken corpse within a shadow realm. It seems they were afraid he might return. Three hundred years ago, I selected Kool and six others to form the Haradrim. He was a great man, who was driven mad by his long quest to hunt evil. Why did the Haradrim kill Zoltan Kool? He delved into powers not meant for man, trying to fashion an artifact that could fill his empty heart with the souls of angels and demons. The Haradrim had no choice but to slay him. The Order never recovered. I don't like dealing with Kul any better than you do, but I see no other way. If Adria says we must, then we must. Uncle Deckard trusted her, and so will I. Zoltan Kool, a legend. There is no doubt in my mind he is as powerful as the stories say. But for every bit of his genius, he was surely mad. He was obsessed with immortality and power. A madman. We would do better to leave him asleep in the desert than to call on him for aid. You have a better idea. I do not. It is merely a warning. Zoldan Kool is an unknown. Involving him is risky. 
You take risks every day, Crusader. And one dismembered wizard is nothing compared to Belial and Asmodan.